Hello everyone, please welcome and join me Easy Steps Cooking. Today I'm going to share with you a Kadai Kulcha. It's a, such a delicious, it's very tasty, mouth-watering and easy to make and you will love it. It's Easy Steps Creation Kadai Kulcha. How do I make it? I'm going to share with you. Let's get started. The ingredients we need for our Kadai Kulcha, two cup of uh, all-purpose flour, in other words, maida, half cup lukewarm milk, half cup homemade yogurt, one tablespoon of Olive oil. I'm going to use the highly active yeast it's from rapid rise 21 grams it's one tablespoon one teaspoon of each sugar salt baking powder get a mixing bowl and add yeast sugar salt baking powder and milk so we're going to let it sit on the counter for 10 minutes once the yeast is activated then we're going to knead our dough we have our yeast activated now i will bring all-purpose flour maida yogurt olive oil after adding all the ingredients into the pot and i'll bring the pot to the machine and i'm going to start it with the slow speed and i'm going to let it do the machine work for five minutes until the dough smoothens out. If you don't have a machine, then uh, basically you combine everything with the hand and you mix it well and keep kneading it until it smoothens out. This is how it looks after one minute. So after five minutes, this is how the dough looks nice and smooth. And I'm going to pull it out. Look at how perfect. So once I pull it out, Get a ball coated with the olive oil, put some oil on your fingers, pull the dough out and transfer into the ball. Get some olive oil and uh, just coat it on top. This is perfectly fine. Now get a damp cloth, cover the dough and let it sit for two hours. Our dough is more than double in the size. To make our delicious karai culture, you need a big size of karai and two damp clothes to handle our hot karai. We're going to get a dry flour. Just coat your finger and we're going to take it out. Look how nicely the dough has been doubled in size and we're going to dust off our counter and take the dough out. It's really nice and smooth and soft. You can make an even size of peda and if you have a cutter you can cut it even size. And we're going to make a peda and let them sit here. And uh, I'm going to roll out the kulchas, just coat it with the flour, and we're going to roll out. What basically we need to do, get a brush. So it's really important that uh, you uh, need to make it wet on one side, and we're going to put it in a karai. It's going to stick better, and then we're going to cook our kulcha. So it will stick, it won't fall when we are cooking. So our karai is hot and uh, ready. So we get kulcha, and we just place it on top. So once it's uh, cooked from the bottom, what we're going to do, we're going to turn it over and we're going to place it right upside down. Changing the color and so we're going to leave it. So now I'm going to lift it up and look at how beautiful, nicely it's done. So you need a spatula. Look at our karai kulcha is all ready and I'm going to get the plate. Same procedure. We're going to wait until our kulcha is going to start turning brown and start bubbling up. So as you can see, it's already changing the color. Now it's the time to turn it over. Like 20 seconds. I'm going to check. As you can see, it's looking good. And we're going to put it back again. Look at this. So beautiful. Same thing. And if we look at the bottom side, look at how perfect, nice color. I'm going to take my kulcha in a plate and we're going to apply some butter. This is so crunchy and so fluffy. Perfect. Only one thing I have to say, just be careful when you're placing it in the kadai. Don't burn your soul. As you see, it starts changing color. Now it's the time to turn it over. Oh, look at this. It's 
beautiful. Now I'm going to pull it out and apply some butter. Our kurai kulcha are so easy, simple to make and they are so tasty and delicious. And please try it and hope you're going to like it. If you like it, please make sure to like and subscribe Easy Steps Cooking for more mouthwatering recipes. Thank you. Bye-bye.